Hello there, scouts and rogues. I am Dark Minded Sith, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's. I don't know. We're still playing this game. Can I just finish this daggum thing already? Even the moon is just ready to crash. It's just like, dude, can I just destroy the human race already? Alright, so. Picking things up again in the graveyard. We got something to do on the night of day three here. To complete our daily task here in the graveyard, we could do something on the night of day one, day two, and now the night of day three. So, with our captain's hat, we're going to talk to these stout children, and they're once again going to do their favorite hobby, which is destroying graves. No, you're not going to guard it, you're going to destroy it. Yeah, pfft. Yeah, that could have been someone's grandfather. Of course, that's terrible, but I mean, I feel even worse for <laughs> commanding them to do that. And we're once again beneath the graveyard. And keeping in the tradition of this cycle, we got a prize on the night of day one and day two, down here and beneath the graveyard, and now, on the night of day three, there's a little something that's up for grabs as well. And... Who better to give us that prize, or help us get that prize, than... Yeah. There's a familiar friend. Oh, crap. <laughs> I forgot he does that. Uh, don't talk to him with that mask on. Talk to him as regular Link, sorry about that. Yeah, here's an old friend. Uh, this is Dampe. Unfortunately, I made the mistake of not introducing him this cycle, or introducing his character at all. So what I'm probably going to do now is cut to meeting him in, like, a separate file just to show that. So I'll cut to that right quick. Oh yeah, you've done a good job with that. Yeah, that's right, kids. Don't judge a person by their hideously frightening face. Oh, kings, eh? <laughs> well, it's a good thing we've... Shown the utmost appreciation for these graves, then. <laughs> well, then I'll do my best to make sure you're calm and relaxed. And... Why are you even hanging out here, then? Yeah, well, wasn't that fun? Yep, so that's who this guy is. This is Dampe, an old friend of ours. He hasn't changed much since Ocarina of Time, even in this parallel universe of Hyrule, of sorts. Please! Well, at least he's friendly. Alright, so he's gonna dig up some treasure, and we're gonna guide him to the different patches of soil here. And we're gonna see what we can find. As you can see, there's soil here, some soil here, different patches of dirt. Yeah, man, be patient. Okay. We're gonna Z-target and guide him to the different- uh, Oh crap, I forgot! <laughs> oh man, I totally forgot about that. I wasn't even listening to that. <laughs> to that. Yeah, there's wall masters here, and I- I gotta listen out for that. I don't really have my volume too loud. I gotta look out for that. Yeah, there's wall masters here, and if they grab you, you do have to start all over again, so... Yeah, you wanna listen out for that. Or watch out for it. So yeah, what you're gonna do is Z-target. I'm, I'm trying to be... I'm trying to listen out for the wall masters here. Um, you can lead him to some dirt using your Z-target. He'll say that there's something strange about the spot you're standing in. He'll dig to see what he can find. And in this case, we found a flame. A blue flame. That's important. We want to find at least three of these. He wants to find treasure, but I'm not too concerned with treasure. I'm trying to look out for that wall master. Because I think once I defeat one of them, I should be okay. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is you have these little brown... Oh, crap. There it is. Okay, good. Get the heck out of here. You want to be Adam's family hand. Okay. Dude, I'm coming. Alright, the next thing we want to do is we want to lead him to these little brown platforms. These are like elevators of sorts. You want to lead him onto it, and then get off of it, and then it's going to carry him to the upper area here. And you want to walk up to the top here. Be careful with these steps, because the way the camera works, it kind of turns weird, and you end up, like, falling off of it. 
I've done that several times, so just really take your time when you go up those steps. Really demented Barney Rubble. Two of the soil here. I usually try to take care of... There's some areas at the top here, and I try to take care of them first. Because they're a little more tedious than just leading him to the ones on the ground level. So let's slowly but surely lead him over here. And the thing is, I have time slowed down, so I don't even know if he's, like, slower than usual or not. Yeah, something strange. Nothing strange about this spot. It's just like the others. Okay, another flame. God, that doesn't hurt, Link. <laughs> it's burning right through me. Okay. So when am I immune to fire? You want to be careful, um, these little brown elevator things. If they go up, there'll be an empty hole here. And if you fall down it, then you're screwed and you have to start the whole thing over again, so... Just be careful of that. I'm still trying to get used to this stupid mirror shield. I still haven't gotten over the fact that I got this ridiculous looking face staring at me every time I walk now. Um, oh yeah, in my experience, um, from what I can gather about this, this is entirely randomized. Like, there's not three specific locations that always have the flames. Um, I think it's just very randomized. So, if you're, you know, don't use this strictly as a guide. This, he, he's not going to have the same flames in your file as I do, so keep that in mind. So really, I mean, what's the point of even showing this? Okay, nothing there. I think some of these have rupees as well. Or some have rupees, sometimes none have rupees. I'm going to lead him to this one. Oh, crap. How come that automatically went up? I thought it... I thought it wasn't supposed to do that until I, like, break the Z-targeting, but... I don't know. Alright, so we're gonna lead him here to this, uh... This topsoil! <laughs> it's not even soil, I don't think. Oh, uh, so that joke failed miserably. Not that it would have worked if this was soil. Yeah, get over here. Yeah, there's something strange. Bloody bloody blue. Alright, dig it up. Nothing. Fabulous. If this ends up taking like 10 years, I'll probably like off screen until I finally find the last flame. Yeah, it's kind of funny. He falls. Dude, shut up! God, you got pff, terrible eyesight if you can't see me when I'm, what, four feet away from you? I know it's dark or bright or whatever, but come on, man. This is not the kind of job you need to have if your eyesight's that poor. Daggummit. Alright, where's the other... I'm trying to find a thing of soil I haven't tried yet. Will you shut up? I'm scaling the area, man. I think this one right here I haven't tried. Of course, I am kind of pressured for time a little bit, too. I mean, we are getting close to midnight here, and there is still something I need to do, but... I think I can finish this okay, so... Come on, Humpty Dumpty. Man, oh man. Does he even know the moon's gonna crash? See, that's the thing, you know? I guess when people think the world is gonna end, they kind of look at other people in the same way. They're like, they don't even know they're all doomed. Just living their casual lives, but I wouldn't want to know I was doomed. They say ign ignorance is bliss, you know? That gummit. In fact, I think I didn't dig one of these first ones. Dude, come on, man! What'd you get on the freaking elevator for? Yeah, something strange. Body, body, blah. And we finally found the third flame. And when we get the three flames together, we get a big Poe. And now oh, you freaking coward! Really? If he's that scared of ghosts, then why is he even hanging out near a graveyard? My god, it's like being afraid of water and being a lifeguard. Alright, so we got a big Poe, and we're gonna defeat it just like we have with the other ones. That we fought. What I normally do is shield, wait for it to hit the shield. The stupid, goofy looking mirror shield we have. And then I Z target and hit it with an arrow. And then I just rinse and repeat. It usually kind of goes from one area to another when it kind of fades. Hit you. Yeah, I know the world's ending, but we should. Okay. My stupid looking shield. Hit you with an arrow. 
And he's probably gonna reappear there. Maybe it's a female, I don't know. Alright. There we go. Get the heck out of here. And after doing that very fun digging game that we just had such a joy in doing. Oh, I don't need the empty bottle. Um, we got a special little prize for that. And what is inside? This better be something good. This better be worth it. I mean, doing all that for just a mediocre, crappy side item that we're not going to do anything with. It's another empty bottle. Five empty bottles. That's right. That gives us our fifth, and that's not even all of them. We still got one more. Yep. After that, you can get an empty bottle. I'm as excited as you all are, let me tell you. I'm actually going to collect this Poe with our empty bottle. May lead to something good. Ooh. Yeah, although it dissolved into purple Kool-Aid for some reason. Alright, the world's ending. So we got one last thing to do this cycle. I'm going to warp to Clocktown. Alrighty, we're back in Clocktown. We're over here in West Clocktown. One last little thing I'm going to do. I'm going to head in here to this place. This is one of the only places we can really do anything with. The Curiosity Shop. This is a very determined businessman. Because even when the world's ending, he's not closing. He's even more committed than the mailman. The mailman. Even during s hail, sleet, sleet, and snow, he delivers the mail. This guy, even when the world's ending, he's in business. Alright, so what we're going to do first is I'm going to sell an item, actually. This is just like the pawn shop in real life. So in other words, we can sell bootleg DVDs and things we've stolen. I just caught a big pose, so I'm actually going to sell that. Just to show this off. I'll actually buy that for 200 rupees. So we get 200 rupees. Yeah. So that fills up my wallet all the way up to 500. And what we can do with 500 rupees is we can per no no we can purchase a special item here. Now, unfortunately, I got, got I got quite a bit to explain about this. This is the all night mask. Now, there's a little bit I need to explain about that because this has quite a bit of. Uh, picky criteria, if you will. Um, in order to buy the All Night Mask, first and foremost, you can't buy it until now. You can't buy it until the night of the final day. And the Curiosity Shop, which I'm in right now, does not open until 10 o'clock. So you cannot get this item until the night of the final day at 10 o'clock or past. So you have a very strict, pressured time to get this item. And on top of that, as you can see, this item costs 500 rupees. So you can't get this item until you get the giant wallet. Or is it the adult wallet? The wallet that lets you hold 500 rupees, which I got earlier in this cycle. So if you don't have that wallet, you can't get this because then you can't hold 500 rupees. So with that, we get the all night mask. And there's a little other tiny criteria that has to be met as well. Another little bit of criteria is that you have to do the side quest that involves helping the old lady in North Clocktown. Uh, the one that you... she almost gets robbed and she gives you the blast mask here. You have to redo that task in the, in the particular cycle you're in. If you don't redo that task, then due to big complications you can't get the all night mask because it involves the thief coming in here and selling stuff. And Basically, you have to redo that task. So sorry if that was kind of boring, but I did want to make sure I put out there what criteria has to be met in order to get the all-night mask. Because it is rather picky. If you don't do one of those things, then you can't get it. So, just to recap, that thing you guys missed so much, I guess. Um, gotta have 500 rupees, gotta come here on the night of day 3 at 10 o'clock or past that. And you have to help the old lady on the night of day one in North Clock Town. You gotta stop her from getting robbed. And if you do all that, you can get the all night mask. Yep. Sexy, isn't it? I'll say. You can't even really see it, but. Alright, well, as far as I know, that is gonna do it for this cycle. We got quite a bit accomplished. Took care of a temple, took care of quite a bit in the next area. This game's really getting rocking and rolling, and I know it's been a while, and yeah, this game really needs to get done already. So, that's going to do it for this cycle, so play the song of time in this cycle, and we'll pick up next cycle. So, thank you so much for watching. See you later, alligators.